Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. I am super excited to welcome our next guest via Skype from Knoxville, Tennessee, my old college buddy and TV connoisseur, John Barber. <laughs> John Barber, it's so good to see you, my friend. I know. It's been, you know, a couple minutes a since couple? we were in college together. Yeah, just yeah, a few. Just a couple. We won't say how yeah. many, but just a few, John. <laughs> Just a couple. It's yeah. so good to see you. So, okay, since college, you're now living in Knoxville. Tell us, just keep me updated. Yeah. What are you doing now? Yeah, so I pastor a small church in Knoxville. We, uh, we're a little church plant that meets in an elementary school gym. And um, I don't know, we have a great time. We've got three kids now, 20, 17, and 13. Well, that and, is, uh, yeah. I'm so proud of you for what you're doing. And I, we went to college together at Washington Baptist University. Uh, we were in the same pledge class, were we not? For our, yep, we were our, our yeah. Kappa Chi. My pleasure to be right here. So I was scrolling through Facebook the other day, and I had seen your post, and you created the most amazing TV sitcom bracket I've ever seen. I'm a TV critic. <laughs> I vote for the Critics' Choice Awards, and I was enthralled with your bracket. How did you even come up with this idea? Yeah, so I actually did something similar a couple of years ago. I did one with the Disney and Pixar movies, and it was it was kind of it was fun. A lot of people had a good time with it, and then when the this coronavirus stuff hit and the quarantine. I just thought you know, people want something fun. They want something kind of mindless. You know, their whole their social media feeds are all quarantine and political and all those things. And I just wanted to give people something to have fun with and argue about in a really fun way. Right. It is. So, it's it's a great argument because it's it's not serious. It's you know you're debating a TV shows like Modern Family versus Curb Your Enthusiasm type things. Yeah. It's fun. It's lighthearted. It's not heavy. I'm looking at the, the first bracket. Um, this reminds me kind of like a March Madness bracket because we didn't have that this year. How did you even come yeah. up with the shows to start out with? Yeah, so it took me a, a little while to, to narrow it down to 64. And uh, I, I did it just like a March Madness bracket with one through 16 seedings in each of the four quadrants. And um, the, one of the most fun things about it actually is arguing with all of the people who want to tell me what shows I left off. Oh, you know, right. Why, why isn't Mary with Children on there? Why isn't Barney Miller on there? Why isn't WKRP in there? Well, they just, they were this close. They just didn't quite make the cut. Wow, that would have been very hard, especially for me, too, because it's also a generational thing, because people who totally. maybe were growing up in the 60s have totally different shows than maybe something that you and I grew up with, because I yep. really liked every single one of these shows that you picked. Yep, me too. So yeah. over, the, over the weeks, you've narrowed it down. So I know the voting for the final round was yesterday and the day before, and the two yep. shows that it got down to are Friends versus The Office. How has the voting been going so far? So in this final round, in the championship round, we've had uh, about 25% more votes than any other round. I mean, it's just kind of blown up, and uh, the, the final voting kind of surprised me because if, if you went into this thing um, – thinking that Friends and Seinfeld were going to run away with it, I would have agreed with you. I would have thought that's where this thing is going to end up. So for The Office to make it to the finals, and then um, I don't know when you want me to give out the, the champion here. Not yet. Don't do it yet. Okay, I won't. I won't, but I'm excited <laughs> about it. I'm excited about it. Well, you great. know what, John, in my opinion, can I tell you my TV critic opinion? I think yeah. because of Netflix and The Office, that had a resurgence. Friends sure. is still on the forefront because it was on Netflix going to the Peacock Network. And in my opinion as a TV critic, I tried to watch reruns of Seinfeld. I remember loving at the time. I don't personally think it holds up as well going back yeah. to watch it. That's my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, no, I agree with you. And interestingly, the biggest surprise in the whole bracket, like by far, the thing that blew me away was the love for home improvement. Home improvement, I had it in as, I think, and it made it all the way to the Elite Eight, finally barely losing to I Love Lucy. But people love Tim the Toolman Taylor, like in ways that I was shocked by. Wow. That was the big one for me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I remember watching that too as a kid. Yeah. But I, I don't know if I'd put it with all time greats, though, but that, that's surprising. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. before we get to the winner, I do want to say that you were going to ask our viewers to help you do the next bracket, because after today, the TV sitcom bracket has ended. Give us kind of an idea. What do, you, what do you want our viewers to vote on? I mean, I see things like TV detectives, sci fi shows, TV dramas, 80s bands. What are you hoping to do next? Yeah, I just, I just want to do something that's going to provoke the most response, the most uh, fun conversations. That's, at the end of the day, the thing that wins is not the most important thing. The thing that wins, or the thing that makes it great is the conversations that happen along the way, the, the big arguments. I yes. can't believe you let, uh, you know, arrested development all the way through. Like, those are the fun things. 
questions, yeah. and even if they're just totally sort of mindless. So I'm just looking for whatever will provoke the most reaction. So speaking of reaction, we're going to post this interview on our social media after the show, and we want our viewers to vote, and you can find John Barber on Facebook. Uh, and the website that to vote was the... Uh, well, uh, Jeremy, I, I've yeah. got a new website for it. You can go to bracketofchampions.com, and you can find it there. Okay, bracketofchampions.com. All right, John Barber, the moment has arrived. Can we get the final winner for the TV sitcom championship? Yes, the greatest sitcom of all time. It's science. It's science. The greatest sitcom of all time is The Office. The Office wins. That's what I voted for, John. I voted for yes. The Office. That's amazing. John Barber, thank you so much. We look forward to your next bracket. And when we to get that going, can you come back and Skype with us again? Absolutely. Love to. All right. Thanks so much, John. It's so good to see Bye. you. All right, Thanks, don't Jeremy. go anywhere. More fun on Ozarks Fox AM right after this. Yes, I voted for the office. It won. Oh, I'm so happy.